GPS has definitely taken me on a scenic route. And by that, I mean just twisty and turny roads where it's taking way longer. As Victoria, I'm driving across the United States of America for the second time, but this time I'm going through the South. And our goal is to get to New Mexico and then Arizona, but there is no destination. It's all about the journey. But I would like to get out of this area, the farmland of Arkansas. We're going to get into Oklahoma today, hopefully, and I need to find somewhere to sleep tonight. That's my main priority. Along this route, there are no rest stops to sleep at. Onward. <laughs> Gladiator, Jeep Cherokee. I'm gonna check my oil and just mosey around here for a little bit and then drive another hour because there's another rest stop in an hour. Sleep there tonight. Well, we'll be in Oklahoma today. the rest stop. That's what my setup looks like. Big pop pickle. <laughs> I just had to. It's one of those gas station foods that you just kind of have to have every road trip. I don't foresee me getting a lot of sleep tonight. I'm a little sketched out by rest stops right now just because after sleeping in the forest this doesn't, it just doesn't compare. Another thing is, I do not want to drive anymore at uh, dusk or whenever the sun's coming down because it blinds me and I can't see anything. There's reflections all over the windshield. I'm like, <laughs> my old Jeep's about to fly apart and everyone's like passing me. I'm just, and I have to kind of put my window down a little bit, but I can't because the window shakes. And so I'm just like sweating and the sun's like beating on me. And it's just, it's not fun. It's because my eyes are very like, Tears were just coming down my face. Anyways, I'm gonna go to sleep tonight and see you in the morning. Just a little update. I stopped at a hotel to edit and release my YouTube video. Had a terrible time finding internet that worked to upload it because my files are very big. My YouTube videos take a very long time to edit and they're very big when I export and whenever I upload them. So it it um, uploaded the whole night and still wasn't enough and so I was just running around and it was boring so I didn't film that. But I'm um, still going through Oklahoma right now. The, the landscape is definitely looking more Western for sure, more flat, less, no trees. And I'm very excited. I hope to get to Texas today. I don't think it's probably gonna happen, but we're gonna try our best. I am just in it to win it. I'm on a bit of a time crunch. I'm meeting someone up in Arizona, in Phoenix. We're gonna do some adventures together. So I need to get to New Mexico and stuff and find some hot, maybe a hot spring. For now, I just need to get this driving out of the way because the last couple days I haven't done a lot of driving because working it's working okay it is my job YouTube's my job social media is my job but also my passion I love this. but I'm just gonna keep driving and there's not much to show you it's just highway I'm really tired I got up at 6 a.m. to try and get the internet thing figured out <laughs> West now, just by the landscape, and it changes all of a sudden. Like, you'll be driving and driving, and then just suddenly it's just flat and brown. I'm sweaty. I'm tired. I'm, I'm sore. I'm... It's been a really long day. I don't. I don't know what to do from here because this is the only rest stop in the mountain middle of nowhere. There's like four. It's, been, it's too early to sleep, and it's like 80 degrees, so it's quite hot. Because I cannot drive anymore. I can't. I hit my limit for the day. I hit it like an hour ago, and I kept going. I need a good night's sleep. I really do. Texas, baby. Well, I made my 
spot for the night because I just need to lay down and have my fan on and have a little breeze coming through the window. It's very hot out, but this is, this is bearable in here. Okay, good morning onwards. I, I don't know why, I think I got like, on each side of my neck I have like hives or some sort of like rash. You can't really see it, but there's just like bumps and it's like a little tender. I don't know what that could be from on both sides of my neck like that. But I slept pretty good here. This is a type of um, rest stop that's always has a person, I think, in the inside. We went in this morning. How you doing, ma'am? Like, oh yeah, I'm in Texas. Driving might be a bit complicated today because of the wind. That always makes things a little slower. Onwards. <laughs> It's also very dusty. I also can't open my window. Gas is cheap though. Oh, gas is so cheap. Two fifty-five in Texas. But it's so hot and, and so windy that there's dust blowing everywhere. wilderness all by myself in New Mexico. I'm exhausted. I drove so long today through sandstorms, through the scorching sun with no air conditioning, through the wind. Oh, I can't even explain how exhausting it was. And I'm not done yet. I still have to drive two hours to get the white sands. And I forgot to really get food. I didn't forget. I just didn't want to spend money on food. So I'd, I'm going to probably make some little tortilla things and eat it with my asparagus. <laughs> It's very windy and it cooled down so much today. I drove through two different time zones. I'm actually kind of cold now, but I'm gonna definitely go to sleep early because where I was before, it's a two hour time difference. So it's two hours later than what it really is for me. I have some cherry tomatoes, a can of asparagus, and this I've had in here for a full year. I don't know if it's still edible, let's see. I don't think flour goes bad, does it? It's organic masa flour. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks great. No bugs. All we gotta do is put some water and salt in this. And I like carrying this with me because if I ever get into a bind, at least have tortillas. You know what, I might put my tent up, but we're gonna make some tortillas, put on some tomatoes and asparagus and call it a scrumdiddlyumptious meal. Please don't fall. I feel like you're gonna fall. Stay. Gotta get into my basement down here. This is taking too long and making me very frustrated because of the wind. Stay. I don't know if it's gonna stay, to be honest. We'll see, I guess. I don't know if I can cook like that, though. So. It would be kind of nice to sleep with this, but I think it's gonna be too windy. Whatever, we're gonna just prepare our masa tortillas. <laughs> Asparagus tortillas. Put in some pepper and salt. For these, you don't really even need oil on it, but I'm just gonna spray it a little bit. Oh, please stop that. <laughs> I'm gonna make some salsa with this and put in some asparagus juice and some garlic salt and stuff like that. Asparagus salsa. <laughs> I think the garlic salt is stuck. <laughs> Cook this down a little bit to make it more salsa. -y. So to make a good salsa, you do wanna add some sort of sweetener into it. Not that this is gonna be a good salt. Actually, if we put a little flour in this, maybe it'll thicken it up a little bit. Put a little sweetener in that. This is like some... Okay, so this is our meal for the night. Look at that. A little asparagus. A little of our homemade salsa. Mm. That's actually really, really good. Like, not lying, this salsa. 
It tastes great. This is good. Mm. So I decided against the tent thing. It was too chaotic. This will do just fine. It is almost my bedtime, even though it's four right now. I get really tired around like four to six or whatever. Hopefully tomorrow we can finally make it to our destination of the white sands and hopefully the wind dies down so I can get some beautiful shots of like drone shot. I haven't been hit, getting any because I've just been driving and it's been too windy and I will not lose my drone again. So hopefully I can show you guys the beautiful landscape. Cheers to New Mexico. <laughs> No drone shots today, it's still super windy, but you get the idea, it's beautiful. I'm gonna do some stretches out here in the wind. Um, really need to. <sighs> Gotta shake off all the, the, tr the week of traveling. White Sands, New Mexico, and the day that I get here, the day that I have to hike it, it's a high wind weather emergency state, whatever. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get on my vehicle with the sand blowing around like this. It's so windy. I'm so disappointed. Oh, I was looking forward to this so much. This is intense. Look, you can't see. All right, I'm going in anyways. She's all the trails are closed, but I guess I can still drive up here or something. <laughs> I am disappointed, but at least we can still get in. It looks like snow. I don't think I should be out this far. She said not to go out this far. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> to walk these it looks so beautiful it's so cool so cool even though i can't actually go out there this thing works real nice it's like the mad max vibes gorgeous here and it's quite fun. I've um, been going out with this thing on and I'm fine, um, but I'm feeling a little sick. I don't know if it's because I had coffee or what. It's always making me feel unwell. Maybe it's I'm not properly hydrated. I should drink some more water, but I didn't spend too much time with the white sands because obviously, I don't know, I feel very dried out and maybe it's not the best for me. I don't want to be able to continue to breathe, you know, and I want to get sand in my lungs. So I just stopped at the highway and I'm gonna get some water and then I'm just gonna keep driving to Phoenix. And it was dark and I I make it a point to never drive at night and to never try to find a camp spot at night and I am going to continue to stick to that rule because last night was terrible I was trying to find this place and it was down the washboard roads which I did not miss the one thing I did not miss about the west is the washboard roads which basically are really bumpy like a washboard type of road and the only way that you can get over them without shaking out your whole vehicle is to drive really fast or to drive so slow that you're barely going like 10 miles per hour. So I did a mixture of both, which did not 
help anything because I couldn't see it. I couldn't go fast enough. Couldn't see anything. Couldn't find any of the camp spots because it was dark. So I pulled into a random one. I'd, I'm looking out now and it's quite pretty out there. Oh, I didn't see any of this last night. I didn't really look. take it easy and make my way towards Phoenix. I'm in Arizona now. It's gorgeous out right now. Perfect weather for a little hike. I didn't realize it last night, but just a tiny bit down here, there is a, a, a fire pit, which meant that this was actually a camp spot and I did good. I'm so relieved that it doesn't matter now. With this type of land, it's not really owned by anyone. So you're allowed to camp wherever you want but it's much better to do it at pre-existing camp spots. Wow. There's sand everywhere. Whew. I'm gonna get sand in the oil. Like I've had this since Pennsylvania and she's not needed it, so. Cuckoo. She does have an oil leak, but it's not, it's not that expensive. Just give her a little juice. I forgot to mention one thing about this area is there's roaming cattle and I didn't think I'd get to see one, but one just hopped on over. Hi. <laughs> here it doesn't seem so confusing anymore like I can clearly see where the roads are you can see where that the fire pit is for the campsite it doesn't look so scary but in the dark on the ground everything feels scary and unknown but I think it's a good lesson to remember that there is a bigger picture to everything and nature works itself out you know and we're like little ants on the ground with all our anxiety and stuff this gives that perspective to me. It just seems so much simpler up here. See how bumpy it is? It's terribly bumpy, so I have to go fast, which really I do not like. Unless I aired down my tires, but boy, this is... Morning. I'm staying at a very, very bare, bare, bare basic motel because I needed to shower and I wanted to sleep in a bed. I did not sleep well at all. I was paranoid the entire night that someone was going to like break to my jeepers. I don't know what, like at nighttime, it seems like a real fear, but then you wake up and you're like, why? You know, like I've said before, the motels I stay at are very, very sketchy because they're like budget motels and it's still very expensive. Like motels and hotels have gotten really expensive. I'm always like, extra paranoid, way more paranoid than if I'm like camping. Because at least when you're camping, everyone's there for the same goal, you know, to camp and to find peace and blah, blah, blah. But when you hear kind of in like a town or a city, people aren't as cool. Anyways, I'm gonna head to Phoenix now. I haven't really planned this far ahead at all. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Hopefully it, it entails less driving because I'm so burnt out from driving. Stay extra terrestrial. I love you very much. I'll see you in the next adventure.